Hey everybody, it's your old pal Chuck and I'm back with another review. And today we're taking a look at from the Transformers Cyber Series. This is Cyber Battalion Sideswipe. Now, you're going to say this is a little bit of an older figure and that is true. Um, to give you an idea, when this figure was first announced and uh, started trickling out, the Transformers Robots in Disguise cartoon was on where the Sideswipe was a prominent character, thus explaining why we got a Sideswipe in this line. This is a repaint retool of the Cyber Battalion Prowl figure, and as many fans and collectors uh, noticed, uh, this bears a strong resemblance to the old, I think it was Omnibot Camshaft, was the red one. So, uh, yeah, you know, double the purpose. As always with the Cyber Series figures, these are larger scaled, uh, simplified figures. Um, but they have this nice, chunky throwback feel that I enjoy. I know the vast majority of you probably watching this think these are simplified kitty figures and not worth your time or effort. I, on the other hand, disagree, and I think this is one of the most inventive and best Transformers line to come along in a very long time. These are exclusive to Walgreens, which explains why we're looking at it now. Even though I've had it for several months now, um, I didn't see it in my local Walgreens until... I would say a good year, year and a half after it was announced and released. That has to do with the Walgreens distribution. And in fact, I've seen the figure several times since then, sitting in the shelves. So if you're looking for those Star Wars or Marvel Legends exclusives, don't be surprised if you don't if you see them like a few years down the road after they were announced, because that's how things get distributed. Um, so we'll pause right now. And then we'll come back and get into the transformation. Okay, so we're going to start off in car mode. If you do remember my review of Prowl, it's a very simple figure. A um, couple different ways to start. We'll just start here in the back. And basically what you want to do is unpeg everything. And from the uh, sides here, get those arms uh, out. And then uh, you can just go ahead and fold out this back section which should come out fairly a uh, little little force there but you know it is built tough and you want to fold this all the way out the knees will actually sort of soft uh, friction into place but they are there for articulation and that will sort of split the legs so you want to continue splitting them and then flip the feet forward yes this from Transformer Cyberverse, this is a very close approximation of that warrior class prowl figure. Standing the figure up, you want to continue out by continue on by rotating the arms out of from the shoulders. I like to just then bring them out like this, and then flip this whole chest panel down, and then rotate the sides, the wheel wells back, bring the arms down. Bend the elbows, and there you have Sideswipe in its robot mode. Nice little representation of Sideswipe. Also a very close approximation of Camshaft, just saying. But, like I said, this is a very chunky robot. I like that it has a dense plastic feel, although it is rather hollow here in the back. But, you know... It, it, it's a real throwback to those classic G1 Transformers that were simplified. Um, it has the movement it needs. You saw basically the arm movement. The head can rotate. And that's one of the things I do want to mention about the Cyber Series line, for those of you not familiar. The head molds are fantastic. Some of the best sculpting. Now, the legs can go forward, bend at the knee, and they do go out to the side. This is why this particular mold is considered one of the better ones, because it does have a nice little plate of articulation and the feet are sculpted so you can get a nice little a stance out of it um other than that there's really not much more to say i mean this is a fun figure uh, i would say it might be a little too big for it to be a desk toy i think the cyber series is a little too big for that so we'll pause and i'll come back with my final thoughts 
One thing you might notice is that with a lot of these Cyber Series figures, you do have that pre-molded, like, heroic anime type of pose with the pelvis going forward and stuff like that and the chest sticking out. Um, like I said, I like this line. Um, I like these figures. Um, as of right now, Sideswipe and Shockwave, who we looked at a while ago, these are the last... Uh, released figures in the cyber series line and my gut kind of tells me that the cyber series line has ended and has been replaced with um transformer authentics which if you remember were those four inch and seven inch uh figures that we've also taken a look at um this line was exclusive to Walgreens. You can still find the figures there, as well as finding the figures on Amazon.com. I have seen some of the Commander class figures, including the repaints from Wave 1, uh, available on Amazon for very reasonable prices. Um, this is a great introductory line to Transformers, but it's also just a fun line in general. Um... I think between the two, I tend to go with Prowl because Prowl had a bit more of his of a blue paint to him than I, you know, I do like uh, blue. And um, in this wave, I would also go for Shockwave over Sideswipe, just because Shockwave is such a new mold, and hey, it's Shockwave, and you know the, the robot mode's fantastic. But Sideswipe is pretty cool too, and if you're looking for another giant chunky car robot. You can't go wrong with a uh, sideswipe here. So, this is your old pal Chuck for sideswipe. We will see you next time.